Hi everyone, Leanne here from Jaded Blossom and it is day two of our March release for 2021. Hey everyone, I am using a bunch of stuff today. Spring dyes, spring dyes two, rainbow dyes, they spring dyes two, heart dyes, bow dyes, flower dyes, and scalloped rectangle dies and stitched rectangle dies, all from Jaded Blossom. And I'm also using the new Easter Wishes stamp set. I just don't have the cover art to share with you, uh, but I'll do a release video later on in the week. So I went ahead and I stamped these beautiful, beautiful images onto cardstock. That paper, that pink is Paper Tray Inks Lovely Lady cardstock. Cut at 4.25 by 11, scored at five and a half for a vertical fold. A2 size card. And then I used a scalloped rectangle die on Doodlebug's Hoppy Easter six inch pad. And I'm using my um, ATG gun to layer these all up and keep them nice and flat for the mail. So, yeah, I'm just going to show you the two pads I used. So, Simply Spring and Hoppy Easter. So, there we are. So, then I went ahead and I cut the bunny from the spring uh, dies. From Jaded Blossom out of white paper train cardstock and I'm going to pop up this little bunny um, centered on my sentiment. I love these new sentiments from Easter Wishes. They are beautiful. I also use the bow dies here and that's a little bow from the same um, Hoppy Easter pad. There we go. So these are simple, very, very simple cards to mass produce. So now I'm pulling out the um, shape sprinkles called jellies, and I'm going to add a little bit of shape sprinkles uh, beside my little bunny there. And I'm keeping these, like I said, really clean and simple. Um, there is some, you know, layering and, uh, you know, dimension, but otherwise these are so easy and you could crank out a bunch of these to hand out over the Easter holiday. So I made six of these today in varying patterns. So now this is purple. This is Winter Wisteria from Paper Tray Ink. And the same thing. Cut an A2 size vertical fold card. Oh, sorry. I'm actually doing a horizontal. <laughs> that is a 5.5 by 8.5 scored at 4 and a quarter. So you have a horizontal A2 size card. And then I'm adding the same layers as I did on my other card, but horizontally. So isn't that cute? I love these beautiful greeting st stamp set called Easter Wishes. It's gorgeous. You need this in your life. It doesn't matter if you do cutesy cards or just really pretty, you know, glam cards. You need it in your life. So that is a heart from the same Hoppy Easter stamp set. And I'm going to pop up the white bunnies. These are from Paper Tray Ink again um, in the center of this heart. I'm going to have them facing each other. And like I said, I'm trying to keep this nice and simple. And I'm using Stampin' Up Dimensionals there to pop up this second bunny. And I will have all the images colored and used on, you know, for the rest of the week. But today I decided to do something, you know, really simple and quick. You know, for those of you that don't want to color and you just want to create something, you can do that. There we are. And there's a little bow again from that same Hoppy Easter stamp set. I'm just going to add it on the bunny and isn't that cute? I'm going to add um, three hearts from the um, enamel, um, what's it called? Sorry guys, the enamel sprinkles and the rainbow hearts. I'm just going to add three kind of straddling that heart. Isn't that cute? So now I'm going ahead and I'm doing the same thing. It's another horizontal A2 size card. Stop the presses everybody. It's, it's a miracle. So that is lemon tart paper tray and cardstock and that's the same thing five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored at four and a quarter so that's a horizontal card I'm using the exact same dies all over again I pre-stamped the um, sentiment that one's called happy spring I used first fine onyx black ink for that I always use that for my sentiments and that little that's an odds and matching odds and ends image from their um Sorry, it's from um, ah, Simply Spring. So's that pattern paper. Sorry, guys. So this, the pattern paper is also from um, Simply Spring. And the odds and ends is a Simply Spring odds and ends from Doodlebug. Now that um, beautiful butterfly is cut out of the Lemon Tart paper tray ink cardstock again. 
and I basically just glued those two gorgeous dies from Jaded Blossom together. Those are the butterfly dies from, um, I think, the spring die set. And I'm just layering them up there. And I'm going to, I was trying to clamp them on with my reverse tweezers, but I end up using an acrylic block and setting it aside, letting it dry, because I only glued the center. I'm going to move that off, and I'll start on the next card for now. So this cardstock is called Summer Sunshine from Paper Tray Ink, and this is the 4.25 by 11 inches, scored at 5.5 again for a vertical fold card, and I'm just going to add the same exact layers. Uh, this is from Hoppy Easter. So I've got a theme going. So it's Hoppy Easter on the Easter cards and Simply Spring on the Spring cards. So that's what I'm doing. And there we are layering my stitched rectangle with the pre-stamped sentiment. And I've cut out some eggs from the spring dice from Jaded Blossom. And I'm just adding them to the background of my card base uh, with my Simon Says Stamp Craft Tacky Glue. So easy peasy stuff. And I'm going to add this adorable little bunny rabbit. I'm going to have him kind of hopping past the eggs. I'm going to pop them up using Stampin' Up Dimensionals. And uh, that is from the um, odds and ends line from Doodlebug um, Hoppy Easter again. And I'm just going to pop that up. So for those of you that do not want to color and you just want to use dies and stamp some sentiments, this is kind of the kind of card set for you. Easy, easy, easy stuff. And I think they still pack, pack a punch because they're really colorful and, you know, graphic, I think. And they're not too busy. So, you know, they kind of draw the eye. So I quite like that. So now I'm going to add a few more of those um, enamel shapes, um, jellies, or enamel sprinkles, sorry, from Jaded Blossom called jellies. I'm just going to add a few, um, you know, in the different colors. I'm going to tuck one underneath. There we go. And you know what's funny is I really don't like jelly beans. <laughs> If it's not chocolate, I don't want to eat it. Let's be honest. Okay, there we are. So now I'm going to pop up the wings of that butterfly. So I'm just adding the um, Stampin' Up Dimensionals underneath the wings. And I kind of just want to give my butterfly some dimension. So basically, that's what I've done with all of these cards. I try to give my main front image dimension on top of what's going on in the background. So... Um, I just love this lemon tart cardstock. It's so pretty. And along with those beautiful sentiments from Jaded Blossom, you know, you can do whatever you want with these. They're so pretty. Um, I actually kind of thought of going a little bit religious on some of them, but I decided I didn't want to alienate anybody. <laughs> um, so I decided to, you know, stick to the bunnies this time. There we go. Isn't that pretty? I love, love, love this set. So now I'm using um, Nouveau Crystal Drops, my favorite, in Simply White. And I'm going to add some centers to some of the flowers. And um, just quickly some centers. And then I'll add some dots down the center of the butterfly, you know, to give it a head and a few little dots down the body, just for some interest. And, you know, like I said, easy peasy stuff. But I think they pack a punch like they, you know, you can really get a nice graphic look. It's beautiful. Kids could make these and look at this. I screw up and I left it in the video so you could see. It's like, darn it. Nope, I'm not going to put Nouveau Crystal Drops on the back. So I scrape it up and I'm putting on some enamel sprinkles or shape sprinkles from Doodlebug, um, the Rainbow Heart Set. And I'm going to put three straddling this image in a matching color. Nice thing about Doodlebug is, is most of their products cross match pretty much everything. So now I've got a piece of cardstock from Paper Tray Ink in um, Spring Rain, guys. And that's 4.25 by 11 inches, scored at five and a half for an A2 size cardigan. And I've got my scallops, scalloped pattern paper. This one's from Simply Spring from Doodlebug. And I noticed that, oh, my card wasn't completely cut square so I just trimmed off the edge there's my beautiful stamped sentiment this is gorgeous April showers bring May flowers I was going to use Doodlebug's gorgeous new stencil but I thought you know I think other people from the design team are probably going to use it today so I decided to go a different way so I'm using the gorgeous these are my favorite clouds 
They're from um, Jaded Blossoms Rainbow Dies, and they're cut out of uh, white paper tray and cardstock. I just love them. They're so pretty. So I'm going to add three of them to this card, but I'm using that umbrella. The umbrella is actually from Simply Springs Odds and Ends set. And I just thought it was so pretty and bright. So I'm going to pop that up as kind of like the main image on my card base. And, you know, you could have done some blending with the gorgeous new stencil, but I decided to go this way. So I'm going to pop on this last... I'm trying to decide, is it going to go on top or is it going to go underneath? I decided to keep it pretty flat, so I go underneath. So I'm going to slide that underneath. And then I will cut off the hang hangover. <laughs> the hangover. I'll cut off the overhang of that cloud. So it'll fit in an A2 size card. And now I'm going to use Studio Katia's Raindrops. And I'm going to stick them down with glossy accents. Uh, it's a nice, you know, solid glue. And it's also clear. So, you know... Even though some other glues dry clear, they kind of dry matte, and I kind of want it to look a little shiny under there. So that's why I decided to use the glossy accents. And I'm using the uh, Studio Katia embellishment wand to pick them up, because it's kind of fuss farty to pick those up. They're kind of slippery and, you know, and I've got them kind of, you know, when the rain, when it rains sideways <laughs> and it gets under your umbrella, that's what I was going for. It's kind of raining on an angle. You know, the kind of rain where you're like, darn it, you're soaked by the time you get anywhere. That's what I was going for. Which isn't as pretty as this card. Normally it's dreary when that's happening and you're just trying to get home. But um, that's what I was going for here. So there we go. So a nice, simple little card layout. And now I'm on to the next card. This this paper is from Paper Trank again. This is um, Green Parakeet. And the same thing, 4.25 by 11, scored at 5 and, uh, five and a half for an A2 size card base. Same thing, pre-stamped my um, sentiment on um, the rectangle, stitch rectangle die, cut out of the same paper. The other paper is from Simply Spring Doodlebug again, cut out with the, the scalloped. And these flowers are all cut out of these flower dies from Jaded Blossom and also the um, leaf. So those are all pattern papers from the exact same paper line, the Simply Spring. Except for the leaf, obviously it's the same color as the card base, that green parakeet. So I'm just sort of making a little arrangement of flowers. And then I've got an adorable little Tweety Bird that I'm going to pop up in the center. And that is from Doodlebug's Odds and Ends again for Simply Spring. So I just thought it was so cute. I love these little chubby little birds. They just look adorable. So now I'm going to add some centers. These are the Love Assortments. They're called Sprinkles, the Love Assortment from Doodlebug. And, you know, like I said, all other colors match. So, you know, you can mix and match your product lines, and usually you're pretty good with Doodlebug. So I'm just going to add a bunch of centers here. And how cute is that? I think it turned out so cute. Now I'm going to add a few more little little drips of uh, Doodlebugs, um, Doodlebugs, of um, Nouveau Crystal Drops in Simply White, just to add, you know, a little bit of texture, a little bit of interest. Remember, these are really simple cards. So sometimes it's nice to, you know, zhuzh them up a little bit with a little bit of, you know, bling or dots or something, right? But anyway, that is it. Thank you so much for stopping by and visiting with me today. Be sure to stop by the Jada Blossom blog and see what everyone else comes up with. Uh, you know, they always knock it out of the park. And be sure to come back tomorrow because we've got some more awesome products to share and some more projects to share on YouTube too. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.